Hey everybody, how's it going? It's a Daily Shooter, and today I've got a not-so-average body armor test for you. What we have here is a level 3 plus steel plate from RTS Tactical. Now, RTS Tactical makes some really nice body armor. One thing I like about them is all of their steel and soft body armor is made in-house. So they don't outsource it, slap a sticker on it, and not have any control over the quality of it, and then just send it out to their customers. They have control from the raw material through the production process, and out the door, which I think is really nice. Now, in the past when I review body armor, what I do is I get a bunch of different calibers, shoot them in you know different locations on the plate, and then we just kind of evaluate you know how they interacted with the plate. Is there any dents, dimples, or you know deformations or anything like that? We evaluate it, and that's the end of the video. Well, I've tested RTS tactical plates in the past, and those things have held up really well. So what I want to do today is simply punish this plate. I'm going to be putting 40 rounds of 55 grain 556. That's moving really fast. It's a light projectile. It probably has the best chance of actually causing damage to a steel plate. And so that's what we're going to be using. 40 rounds on this steel plate. Now the rifle that we're going to be using for this test is nothing special, it's just a standard 16 inch 556 chambered AR-15. The ammunition that we're going to be using for this test is going to be Winchester 556, it's a 55 grain full metal jacket projectile and the advertised muzzle velocity is 3,270 feet per second. So this stuff is smoking fast. Now that velocity was probably calculated out of something that's longer than a 16 inch barrel, so try and keep that in mind. But still, if anything has a good chance of passing through steel body armor, Armor. It's going to be a lightweight, fast moving projectile, and that's what we get out of this. So, again, we're going to have uh, 40 rounds of 556 five, onto one plate. Also, keep in mind, we're going to do 40 rounds and then we're going to check the plate. So, you guys are going to have to watch this plate to see what happens, but we're just going to go ahead and run off those 40 rounds as fast as possible. So, let's get to it. All right, so that was 40 rounds. I think I missed one because I had a little bit of a hang fire. It was only maybe a second or two, but it was a little bit of hang fire. I took it off target just a second and bang, it went off. So that goes to show you, always keep it pointed down range. Regardless, uh, what do you say we put maybe another 20 rounds on it just to see how it goes? All right, well that's 60 rounds. I gotta be honest, if you haven't moved out of the way by now, you have bigger problems than whether or not that's gonna stop any more rounds. So let's go ahead and pick this thing up and take a closer look at it. Okay, so the first thing I noticed is that some of them didn't even barely scuff the steel at all, which is uh, really surprising. You can see that I had multiple rounds impacting in the same spot right there. I tried to spread them out a little bit so you can see that they're kind of all over the place and everything held up just fine. Uh, sticker came off the back, obviously the front panel came off. But if we flip it over, I mean, it's perfectly smooth. Not even a little dent, not a little dimple, absolutely nothing. 60 rounds of 5.56. Five, you guys heard all of the pings right there. And uh, yeah, it's looking really good. Uh, RTS Tactical is definitely impressive body armor. 
Now, I gotta be honest, I've always wanted to do that. You know, when I get body armor to test out and review, you know, I like to keep it somewhat professional and put the rounds in their specific spots so that we could see what happens and, you know, kind of make a video that's a little bit more technically correct than others. But I, I've always wanted to just slam a bunch of ammo at some steel body armor just to see what would happen. And so I'm glad I had the chance with this RTS tactical plate. I'm really impressed with how it turned out. Now, obviously, like I said in the very beginning, this is not, you know, like spall protection, right? It did, as you noticed, contain the first two or three shots of spalling within it from what I can see at least from that little small two inch monitor that I'm looking at right here but it looked like it contained at least most of it right there even though it's not spall protection after that pretty much just blew the cover off and we were just shooting at the raw steel plate that's underneath but this thing stopped 60 rounds of 556 which is pretty good 55 grain not 62 grain 62 grain green tips actually have a less likelihood of going through body armor or at least this kind of body armor uh 62 grain green tips and stuff like that have a better chance of going through uh softer body armors nonetheless 60 rounds i am very impressed rts tactical makes a really good product and a really good body armor panel so definitely worth checking out and they're having a memorial day sale as well so i'll have a link down below you guys take care